Well, I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. We are back in the shop. And uh, for those of you that watched the video yesterday, that video went crazy. So thank you guys for that and thank you for the support. Um, a lot of good comments, a lot of good feedback, but a lot of people also commented and clearly did not watch the whole video or listen to everything I said because they'd have known that things they were telling me to try, I already have tried. Um, but there were a couple comments where people said, that's why your equipment broke when they watched the video of me running the V-Ride 1 around the shop. They said, you beat the hell out of it. We don't beat the hell out of our equipment. Anyone that's been watching us for a period of time knows that we are very anal about maintenance and about the things that we do and the way we treat our equipment. Um, that was just me screwing around in the shop, but that's not a common practice for us. But anyway, so we are on here to another day, and it's me and Max and Billy, and the plan was to get rolling for today and do some big cleanups, but it's been snowing like crazy all morning, um, but nothing's really sticking, not on the grass or the roads anyway, and we're hoping to still get out. In the meantime, we got old Maximus rolling deep with the Countryside crew. And we got Billy here, and they are doing the oil change on the windstorm. Because we do the, on any new piece of equipment, you do either a five or a 10 hour break in oil change. And then um, after that, it's usually every 100 hours. But you guys know, again, on the maintenance, we dump oil and filter every 50 hours on all the equipment. Um, we don't play around, we don't wait the 100 hours, we dump it every 50. Uh, for oil and oil filters, just cheap insurance to make sure your equipment is running the way that it should be and in the best condition that it can be. So, um, but right now with this at 32 hours and we couldn't go out because it's snowing, figure why not just dump it again. Um, get that break in oil out of there. Well, we got the break in oil out of there, we're, not, we're running another oil change on it and uh, just get everything flushed out from the first 30 something hours that are on this. So. Today we will probably roll with the V-Ride 2 and the V-Ride 1, the windstorm, and then we got the BR 600 and 700 on the trailer there, and we will also probably take the Echo 8010, and that's what we will roll with today, if we can get out and do some cleanups, which I think maybe we might be able to. I'm hoping. Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You see these yards behind me? Covered in snow. But they're called for three inches of snow tomorrow, so sometimes you just don't have a choice and you gotta do what you gotta do. That being said, I would not even attempt it without the wind storm. Nice hair, huh? So we knocked out a whole bunch of cleanups, a bunch of bigger ones, which was really good. So um, the windstorm will clear snow and leaves, and thank God it would, because uh, I would never attempt to mulch a lawn like that with snow on it, it'll ruin the grass. And I sure wouldn't try to bag it. I've done that before, me and Roscoe in the past, and that just really sucks. 
but uh, with the windstorm, made it possible. So we got both the plows lined up here. We got my eight and a half foot V blade and Billy's seven and a half foot with the one foot wings scooped on each end. And this truck sitting inside, we'll leave this one sitting inside um, overnight and it can stay nice and warm. They're calling for one to three inches of snow tomorrow. I don't think we'll get it, not enough that it'll actually stick in the driveways and make it plowable, but if we do, this truck's inside and all I gotta do is come here, hook up to that plow and go, and this truck will be warm and dry. Right, Billy? Yeah. Billy. Yeah. Max. <laughs> yeah, we're recording now. But, so now we're down the wire. There's like eight or nine cleanups left to do. Nothing really big. I have my brother coming in to help me Monday. I'm not sure if we'll do cleanups tomorrow. I guess it will depend. If we do, I think we got like two of them that are in the neighborhood. There's actually four in that neighborhood. And maybe we'll just knock those out and that'll be it for the day because they're gonna take a while and they're gonna be lengthy cleanups. But it depends. If they get covered with snow, those ones aren't gonna be manageable. Not like the ones we did today, so they would have to wait until the snow melts off. And uh, if it does, and we'll knock them out then. But it'll be it for this video. Why are you guys staring at me? I got something on my head. I know my hair looks fashionable. I got like the John Gotti hair going on here. <laughs> yeah, but you have more grays than me, then, so I mean. Yeah, why do I have grays, Billy? Not me. For Maximus. Grace from Billy. Yeah. And Conrad. You guys give me grace. No. But, so real quick before we end this one, there's the grandstand and we have the carburetor off it. We have the new ultrasonic cleaner right there. It heats and it does its ultrasonic thingy. Um, so we're going to put the carburetor in there. There's the carburetor right there. Um, I just have to get degreaser. You're supposed to mix it 50 50 with degreaser and water. Um, so I got to get some and clean the carburetor on that and hopefully that will be that will fix the issue that's been having and here's the walker completely torn apart the whole hydro motor and wheel motor assembly for this side is taken out of it um, I'm pretty sure it's just the hydro motor, but I do have a new one coming from another subscriber a faithful dependable subscriber that idolizes me and that's why he sends me this stuff so but seriously, so hopefully the carburetor thing fixes that. And uh, until the next one, we're out.